We, we know what happened. There was um, that litigation with uh, Oachele and um, I think today... Oh, I think we, we've got G1 just going across right now, so we'll just pause to see that. That's the G1 crossing the runway at the moment. It'll be uh, the last vehicle actually to, to do that route to cross the runway and then make its way through the tunnel and come out on Devil's Tower Road. I tell you what, we haven't really savoured it, but we certainly crossed that runway a number of times a today. A number of times, yes. We have been very much up and down. It's been a busy day indeed. Oh, well, of course, uh, we are seeing the G1 cross the runway now, making that iconic drive uh, so many of us know so well, as you mentioned, Christine. Um, you're watching a special edition of GBC News as we take you through to the opening of the new tunnel into and out of Gibraltar. Kingsway will be open to the flow of traffic at one minute past midnight. That's right. So and I think that, that's actually right now. The, the other thing that you appreciate is the amount of planning that's gone into it. It's not just a tunnel from A to B. So much planning to make sure that uh, traffic will flow smoothly. I, I mean, I'm not really sure how much is set in stone and how much they're actually going to have to change. Mm. Uh, and over the next few weeks, I'm sure that's the barrier. That's how the barrier sad. going down. See, there is that element of sadness somehow. It does come with a tinge. And we did, uh, but we, of course, it is the start of a, a new era. Um, less congestion, easy flow of traffic is the hope, the Chief Minister said earlier today. And we did hear that the barrier is going to remain open. Yes, you're exclusive earlier. Well, it is going to remain open. It will allow, of course, for scooters, for pedestrians and they can't close it permanently because they are going to use it for essential services on request. And the little exclusive was that we <laughs> think that the, the MOT will secure that airfield even further. There will be gates or fences, so gates that can open and close, mm -hmm. but the will, security will increase on, on the runway. It's at Eastgate now, which will of course be the entrance into Gibraltar. Devil's Tower Road being the exit towards the frontier. Uh, and the Chief Minister did say earlier he hopes that this is a, a tunnel not only to that side but to Europe. Of course, the treaty is still lingering in the background. And they, they did uh, inaugurate the tunnel today, but the Chief Minister is now going to unveil a plaque. And there we have it, Kingsway. Um, Kingsway. Well, that's quite momentous too, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Must be a, an emotional moment for the Chief Minister as well. He told Ros earlier on Viewpoint that he wouldn't be crying, but uh, a lot has gone into this moment, hasn't it? And we have Jonathan Scott waiting to ambush him <laughs> at, the, <laughs> end of, forward to at the end of the tunnel. So it's heading on to Devil's Tower Road. Well, there we go. Chief Minister meeting with uh, Jonathan Scott. Uh, cries of Piki Avrija. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to be joining you here today. We've closed the runway. We have opened the tunnel. The instruction to open has been given already, so I think it's just being given effect to. And this new thoroughfare in Gibraltar, which will become a new artery, decongesting traffic and bringing traffic in and out of Gibraltar, is about to start operating after 15 years in the planning and delivery. And we weren't 100% sure if this was going to be an event, but Darren, I think you're going to have to swing right. Here they go. There you go. So we were wondering earlier, is it just the opening of a tunnel or is this something of an event? I think we have our answer. No? This is Gibraltar. <laughs> Everything is an event. And it's a pleasure to see people, you know, uh, taking part in an event like today because what we have had in Gibraltar has been historic for many years. Crossing a live runway has been historic and that now ends and we have a tunnel which we're all going to be able to enjoy the fruit of. So that has been, I think to quote you earlier, part of the Gibraltar experience for millions of people coming into Gibraltar in their cars. That changes. Um, but in, in other respects, I think I was reflecting upon why this might feel 
so momentous. It's also something that has been blocked for almost 15 years. We're hoping that it is an indicator as well of perhaps the, it gives us hope at least that the treaty, which hasn't been blocked for so long, but which certainly has weighed on this community, the uncertainty uh, that the lack of a future relationship agreement um, means for this community. We're hoping that this perhaps, you know, is a signifier. Well, I mean, it's completely unconnected, but we do hope that this will not be a tunnel that takes us to the northern end of the runway in Gibraltar that takes us and connects us to Europe, to Spain, to the European Union, um, and that that is in a fluid manner as a result of a treaty that we hope will be delivered. I remain optimistic, working very hard uh, to deliver it. It is devilishly complex. But look, this has been complex too, and we've delivered it in the end. And now it's flowing in two directions. So. Here we go. Everyone's here to experience the first drive, which, which prompts the question. A little bit of criticism for you, Chief Minister. Why does it have to be him who crosses first? Why does it have to be him, the last one who crosses well, the I runway? Think, I think, look, it, it's important that we realize what was happening tonight. Uh, the last car to cross that runway could have become a trivial pursuit question. Which was the last car? What was the registration number of the last car that crossed the live runway at Gibraltar? And why not give that to that, you know, a random sort of person? Yeah. Well, because the people are represented in the work and effort and money that has gone into all of this, and the people should therefore put their stamp on the closing of the runway and the opening of the tunnel. Okay, so in that respect, you're thinking this is democracy. I have been chosen as the elected leader of this community. It should be me uh, that does that for them. It's not me. It's G1. It's the people of Gibraltar represented by their current senior elected representative. And that, we thought, was the best way to ensure that there was no competition. Imagine the competition there might have been to be the last one. Um, it could have caused a public order issue, it could have caused a traffic issue. In this way, there are no issues, <laughs> except a minor criticism, which I'm Sorry. happy to take. Yeah, yeah. An average, a piki, vale piki. This it very much feels like an event. Uh, uh, we, we've just been um, uh, talking to one of the uh, Macias family who told us that Eroski has seen an element of panic buying today. So certainly people who live in the area, who normally shop there, a little bit worried about whether they're going to be able to continue to access it as easily as they, uh, as they can. What would you say to those viewers? I think they'll be able to access uh, the area uh, to the north of the runway even more easily than before. There'll be less congestion. It should be more predictable. You won't have to worry about whether there's going to be a flight that's going to catch you in the supermarket on your way out. You won't have to worry about whether there's a flight that's going to prevent you from getting to the supermarket you'll have to perhaps factor in an extra 40 seconds but you know in the scheme of play and in the run of play you'll be able to access the area more predictably and more reliably ambientazo is the word that springs to mind down here on kingsway on devil's tower road dozens and dozens of vehicles uh, wanting to be uh, part of this event passing through uh, the tunnel, the airport tunnel, north for the first time, south for the first time. I'm sure there'll be a few who are going back and forth. They're honking their horns. Uh, they're heck it, they're joining in uh, by talking to the chief minister as they pass. It's, um, it's certainly a moment in Gibraltar's uh, continuing and evolving story.